Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you Virgo. All right, first card out, despair. Okay, so you're a little upset, a um, little sad. Um, some change has happened within your life, maybe even within a love affair uh, type of connection. You feel like something has been taken from you, like something just can't come back together. You don't know how to bring it back together. Let's see what's going on here. Um, pathway. You feel like, yeah, someone else is, is taking a different path here. Um, they're going on their own journey here, and it, it doesn't include you. Um, like there's someone's going solo. It's a lot of mystery surrounding this other person. You don't know what they're up to, uh, what they're doing here. It could be this wealthy man, um, or you could be the wealthy man here, uh, Virgo. Um, it seems as if um, you don't know how to bring some relationship back together. Uh, it's been so much time um, that has elapsed between the two of you. Um, you have your own foundation, your own, which you're, own, which you're rooted to. Also, if you're this a wealthy man, Virgo, um, or if you're not, then you're dealing with someone who's wealthy. They have their own family. They have their own children. They have something here that you're not included in, okay? Um, a lot of despair here. Um, it could be only a sex-only connection relationship here. Someone wants to stagnate the energy. They want to be dominant over you. Um, you're just a possession to them. You're just this. So, you know, it's nothing more, nothing less here. Um, they don't want the relationship to grow any more than just that, than it just being sex only. Let's see here. Yeah, you could travel to see this person. You could drive to see them. Um, you feel like you, you're the third party here. You're, you're the glue that's holding this relationship together. Okay, you make it... Um, you make it better, feasible for this person to go home at night to their person, okay? You do what you do, and it allows this person to um, cope with the fact that they're maybe in an unhappy relationship, marriage. Um, it's something about departing and arrival. It's like you guys meet at a different place, or you meet somewhere, you meet up. Let's see. Yeah, false person here. It's like um, you're the person in the background here. You have to uh, wait for them to contact you, to reach out to you. You always are expecting to hear from them, um, expecting to hear from this masculine energy here. Um, it seems as if uh, they, yeah, something about their occupation or your occupation here. Um, maybe while you're at work or you met this person at work or you met this person in terms of maybe a work-related relationship. Mature woman in distant horizons here also. Um, there's another woman here. There's another energy here. Um, some of you feel like you're getting older and the wishes, the dreams that you have for yourself are just not coming in fast enough for you. You could be dealing with someone who's already married, already has a foundation here. Again, um, someone who is already obligated to maybe another. Um, and you're just unsure if you'll ever get coupled you ever get married you ever be you'll if you'll ever be in a relationship um is solid and stable you know um let's see what's going on here what's going on here for my virgos uh the star card so yeah the star card the chariot it's like um again something about a car moving um the star card you want to reconcile um come back to somebody or um you're waiting for the universe to bring an opportunity for you to move a relationship forward, uh, for you to have enlightenment, uh, for you to come together with someone, for you to take the lead also, um, take control in this connection here, um, that there be some equality and not an inequality here. Let's see. The seven of wands and the four of cups here. It seems as if somebody is fighting their position here and they're, they're not willing to move off of their their um, square in terms of how they feel. This also could be with the seven of wands. Sometimes they could talk about the sex only connection or somebody just wants 
you know what they want out of a relationship here um and if you're offering love they don't want that okay um they, you could be getting rejected they could be rejecting you um yeah it's like reunion in a relationship or a friendship an apology making something right getting a um getting advice as to how to proceed um if someone acts single in a romantic relationship um someone also could be a writer here um it just seems as if somebody's not taken to the connection because they're too self-centered and they're looking at what it is they want so they'll withdraw here or there's withdraw you know someone's is showing up as kind of like checked out and withdrawn here um, they're not seeing the blessing or the gift that is you the king of cups it could be um, a libra man six of swords it seems as if you're just gonna have to make the resolve in your mind to move on uh, king of pentacles it seems as if you have what you need to move on you both are showing up in king energy if you're a female and this is a male if it's a heterosexual relationship then it seems as if you're both showing up in your masculine energy um, so you both have ideas, uh, thoughts about the about each other. Um, it could be same sex for some of you also. Um, the world card here saying that you're coming out of this cycle of just allowing, of just um, going with or going along to get along here, uh, Virgo. So it just says that, um, let me see. Somebody has two cards here, one white, one black. Somebody's getting a lot of attention. Somebody has to fight the girls off. Um, you're hoping that somebody is turning down attention here. Um, the Five of Pentacles, you just feel left out. Again, with that despair card, somebody has been ignored, neglected here. It could be that you used to be in a relationship with this person with the King and Queen of Cups coming up. You have a lot of love for one another. and Maybe even a child rests in between the two of you. That's the glue that keeps you together. Um, you could It could be a water sign. sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, okay, so with this here um it just says that um, there's a need for somebody to be more romantic it's also a need for somebody to grow up and develop uh emotionally okay because there's emotional immaturity here also somebody needs to develop their psychic intuition um somebody needs to close down their cup of love and really pour into themselves because there's like um low self-esteem or lack or um not feeling good enough or, or yeah something of that nature here let's see The magician here it seems as if um the power of spoken word like it's like you're trying to manifest something here you're trying to use all that you have to bring something back together um maybe with some yeah you, it might just be an issue of maybe somebody loves the other more than somebody loves one if you're in a relationship one of you love the other more you want to come back together there needs to be you know forgiveness reconciliation also this could be platonic too this could be a friendship coming back together there's a lot of love and likeness here um you both pour into each other um it's a mutually beneficial friendship connection relationship here um it just needs to be that you guys need to say something um some words were spoken or somebody needs to clear the air um the power of spoken word here okay i'm gonna do two more not a source somebody just doesn't know how to come back together or something plagues someone at night um someone's not sleeping well um the strength card here is like somebody has to be strong in terms of or courageous in terms of uh, taming themselves their mouth um asking for forgiveness um yeah asking for forgiveness you know coming back together here yeah salvaging the connection here because there was some unfair treatment okay all right so this is what we have this is what i have for you virgo if it resonates go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so thank you virgo many blessings to you